Hello, um, my name is Patricia Quinn and I'm the Executive Director of the Northern New England Passenger Rail Authority. And I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about the future of the uh, workforce in the field of rail and specifically passenger rail. So I'm gonna start off by talking to you a little bit about NEPRA and what we do. So NEPRA is a small organization, stands for Northern New England Passenger Rail Authority. We were formed in the 1990s um, for the purpose of restoring passenger service to Maine and operating that service to and within the state of Maine. So our mission really is to develop a quality system that meets the transportation needs of our customers and delivers value to the regions that we serve. We work for a board of directors that's appointed by the governor of the state of Maine, which includes two ex officio members, as well as five members of the public. So our role right now, um, and for the last 20 something years has been to manage the operation of the Amtrak Down Easter. I just wanna give you a little high level overview about the Amtrak Down Easter. So Down Easter started in 2001, and it's a, an Amtrak service that makes five round trips every day between Brunswick and Boston. It travels 143 route miles and is operated using three Amtrak train sets. We operate at speeds up to 79 miles an hour, uh, work over host railroads, and we serve 12 station communities in three states. We carry over a half a million passengers a year, and actually we, we're going to have a record-breaking year this coming year. And the Down Easter, even though we operate between Brunswick and Boston, really connects people from throughout New England and the state of Maine, and also to the rest of the nation, as you can see here in these graphics that show where our customers come from. So just about everybody, right? It's the Down Easter. In terms of what we do, NEPR is considered a state partner. And so we hold a number of operating agreements with different partners to oversee the operation and the funding of the Amtrak Down Easter service. So we have agreements with various partners, including Amtrak, host railroads, which include previously Pan Am and now CSX, um, the MBTA in Boston, next time our food service provider, and also station communities. So in terms of what we do here, we focus on a number of priorities, including the passengers, making sure everybody has a great trip, the partnerships, making sure all of our the communities uh, and, and the, the stakeholders are working together to deliver great service. Performance, we set goals and we monitor data to achieve various goals for performance, both operating and financial performance. We promote the service, we manage projects, and we also stay very focused on public benefit, making sure that we provide mobility, uh, support economic development along the corridor that we serve and that we improve the quality of life. So that's a little background of what we do. And now just to be able to support and to deliver on those services, it really takes quite a variety of different types of people. Even though our organization is small, we do a lot of different things. And I thought it might be helpful just to explain to folks that really, even though we're in the railroad business, that there are many, many opportunities for workforce development that are outside operating trains. As I noted, NEPRA has an agreement with Amtrak, and as part of that agreement, Amtrak provides the onboard crews, the train equipment, they maintain the equipment, they do reservation service, and, and they provide ticket agents in Portland Station. So there, Amtrak is the operator, but we're the state partner. So what we do is we work with the operator, Amtrak, to monitor operations, to make sure that the schedules are right and the frequency is right to be able to meet the needs of the people of Northern New England. We monitor customer service and set high standards for customer service to make sure the people are happy. We make sure that passengers have good information and we actually in-house here fill the gap between what passengers need to know and what Amtrak may tell them nationally. We do a lot of performance management and monitoring. We're very heavily into data analytics and data gathering. We do budgeting to maintain the operation of the service. And there are numerous agreements, as you might imagine, to support this operation. So we spend a lot of time with our legal support and counsel, making sure we have the right agreements in place to be able to operate the service. So in addition to operations, we own some facilities. So NEPRA owns and operates facilities in Portland and Brunswick. That's where the trains end their day and are cared for by the Amtrak mechanical personnel. But NEPRA in-house because we own these facilities, needs to have people who can monitor the building maintenance and repair, make sure everything is in good working order. We have to do procurements for various uh, service contracts and materials. 
and also do regular inspections and safety. Also on the operating side, the Amtrak Down Easter is the only Amtrak train in the country that has independently operated food service on board. And that food service is managed by NEPRA. And so we have a contractor that provides the food service. We don't serve the food but the personnel that are needed, the workforce needs that are there to support this are onboard people to, to serve the food. There's a company that we contract with, and so uh, they need to provide oversight and management, and we need to provide oversight and management over them. There are folks who prepare the food and deliver it to the trains. There's marketing and promotion to encourage people to get up and purchase the food. And of course, budgeting that goes along with supporting this function. And then associated with operations, but outside of the actual train, we stop at 12 station communities. And so most of the Down Easter stations are owned and operated by the communities that we stop. But in terms of NEPRA's workforce needs, we manage and oversee the local organization of staff and volunteers. So for instance, in Brunswick, the Brunswick Visitor Center mans the station in Brunswick and they staff that, but there are volunteers that are provided by an advocacy group, Train Riders Northeast, that provide staffing at the station in the fringe hours. And NEPR is responsible for making sure that these folks have the information and the resources that they need to provide good information to passengers. So that's focusing on the customer experience, passenger communication, again, making sure that there's proper signage so that people can get to the platforms, get to the ticket machines. We work with the station communities on maintenance and repairs, and we also provide insurance for those station communities. And then lastly, but certainly not least, a big part of what we do here to support the Down Easter is we do the marketing. So we build the strategies that generate the brand awareness so that people know the Down Easter brand, they have a good feeling about the Down Easter brand, and they think of us when they want to travel. So in terms of our workforce needs to support marketing. We have a marketing director who does public outreach. We also contract with an advertising agency. So the marketing director manages that contract and they in turn purchase different advertising, whether it's digital advertising, traditional advertising. We also work with a number of tour and travel organizations and groups, plus school groups to plan and then help them book group and package travel. We do a lot of community engagement as part of marketing. And we are out in the communities all the time, um, members of all the chambers out there to support the communities so that the Down Easter service meets their goals. And again, a tremendous amount of research and data management so that we can make good decisions and spend our marketing dollars in the right way to fill the trains because we need to generate a lot of revenue to support the operation. So that was a little bit about the operating side. And then we also, there's also a whole other facet of what we do, which is projects. And we develop and implement a number of projects and have a number of workforce needs associated with that as well. So over the course of the last 25 years or so, we've managed over $183 million worth of projects to start Down Easter Service, to maintain, to expand it and improve it. We currently have about $60 million in projects that are underway or pending and many more planned. And so that also expands the needs of the workforce. We need folks who can do project development here in-house. We contract with engineering and design firms to help us put the design packages together to go out to bid. There's obviously a lot of environmental work that needs to be done. A lot of these are federally funded, and so we need to comply with NEPA. But there are also local and state environmental needs that we have. We have uh, project managers in-house and also outsourced who manage the various aspects of the projects. And then folks who are on the ground to actually do the construction and to oversee the construction activities to make sure that projects stay on time and on budget. And as we talk about oversight and management, which is most of what we do, this is really an unprecedented time for passenger rail. Through the IIJA, there's been $66 billion in funding that's been made available to passenger rail. And so while this expands the opportunities for passenger rail and programs going forward, it also is an unprecedented need for the passenger rail workforce, which again, is very diversified. It's not just folks to drive the trains, it's folks to really support all of the activities that are needed to keep the service moving. Many of the projects and the operations that we have here are funded with a variety of federal grants that are either discretionary grants, meaning that we need to apply and compete for grants, or formula grants that are allocated and apportioned based on a formula. But again, to support those, we need an organization, so we need HR, 
We need, we spend a lot of time on finance and budgeting. Annual operating budget is about $27 million a year. And then plus these projects. So there's a lot in the, the realm of finance and budgeting. Compliance, because we use so many public funds, there are rules that are required for all of those. So we need folks to make sure that we're always doing the right things. We have the right documentation and we're spending this money in accordance with the guidelines. The grant management, there are a tremendous amount of reporting requirements that have to go into this, managing the, the funding that comes in. Continuing control, meaning that as we build things, we need to make sure that they continue to operate and provide value. There are environmental justice aspects to everything that we do associated with ADA, DBE, and other requirements, uh, Title VI. We do a lot of procurements to get the products and services that are needed to support these and also the doing a lot for public engagement. So like I've carried on for quite some time here talking about all of the different things that we do. And it sounds like NEPRA might be a really big organization. We're pretty lean and mean. There are eight of us currently. We have a, myself, I'm the executive director, a deputy director. We have a manager of passenger services who focuses on those operational type things that we talked about. We have a special projects manager who focuses on the projects, a finance associate to take care of those budgeting requirements, a marketing manager, a grant manager, and then an office administrator to kind of keep us all involved. But again, we do contract with many other outside vendors and workforces. And I think what I just want to try to convey today is that, you know, the workforce needs and the workforce opportunities in passenger rail, again, go far beyond just the conductors and engineers, the Amtrak and railroad personnel that operate the trains, that there's a, a lot of work that's done behind the scenes to support the operations. And I just want to, in closing here, just give a plug why passenger rail while well, the types of activities that I've talked about really can apply to many, many industries, what we do here, I've been at NEPR for almost 24 years. And what we do here really makes a difference. And it impacts the people and generations, not just now, but for generations to come. And what's on the screen here now are some pictures that you can see of folks on the train. We serve young people, old people, students, commuters, a little bit of everybody. And when we do projects and we expand service and that picture there of all those folks gathered was uh, when we started running operating service to Freeport and Brunswick, that was the first train that pulled into Freeport. And hundreds of people came out to see that happen. So we really do make a difference. We provide mobility, we stimulate economic development, we enhance communities, and we also are take, helping to take vehicle miles traveled off our roads and highways, which helps to meet some of the, the state's climate goals. So this is a very exciting industry with many, many facets, many wonderful things, and hoping that those of you looking at this will thinking about getting on board because this is an industry that's moving forward. Thank you.